Today, I'm going to be doing another review on a product I've been using in my own fish room for about six months now. This product's been helping me to breed my fish and to grow them quicker. We're going to be talking about the Easy Feeder. Let's take a closer look at the Aquarium Co-op Easy Feeder. So here's what's included in the box. We have the feeder itself. We have these little parts that we're going to use for the time. It even comes with a battery and two different mounting options. So let's move these out of the way and take a closer look at the feeder. The way these work is you fill this compartment up and you can see there's a max level. You're gonna fill this up with some food. And the way we do that is this lifts right off the feeder. This back snaps right off and you can go ahead and put your food right in here. And then you snap the back back on and you can adjust how much food your feeder is feeding your fish by sliding this little lever right here. So if you can see, the food's going to come down through here and right on out to your feed your fish. I usually keep it pretty close to closed um, because I'm only looking to feed a small amount of food from my tank. Once you have your food on there, you snap it right into place on your feeder and may not come out on camera wall right here is an arrow that tells you that point needs to be pointing up on this side of your feeder there's a dial and this allows you to set your time and so you can set it and up here it's on 24 hour time so set this time and if it's four o'clock when you're setting this up you're going to set it up you want that 16 pointed right up there at the top and then you're going to choose how many times you want your feeder to go. So if you want your feeder to only go one time in the day, and that's how I use mine, right in the middle of the afternoon when I'm not home and I can't feed my fish, I'll just stick it in there for 12 o'clock. And what's going to happen is as this peg travels around and 12 o'clock comes and 12 is right up top, it's going to let the feeder know, go ahead and turn. So let's put a battery in this and show you what that looks like. So I have it set for just about the time it's about to go off. I'm just going to manually move this so you guys can see how it works. When this moves over, it's going to go ahead and turn this around and drop some food in your tank. So let's take a closer look at this setup on my 30 gallon tank. When it's time for your easy feeder to feed the fish, the food container is going to rotate and drop that food right on into your tank. I like to use semi-floating micro pellets in my feeder because it feeds consistently and guppies are going to eat all throughout your water calm. And the ones that sink to the bottom, my plecos are going to be able to enjoy. Here you can see all those plecos that are gathered around eating from the food that dropped into the tank from the feeder. Make sure when you put your easy feeder on your tank that you don't put it over an air bubbler or someplace that could splash up some water. If you're not careful, that water will get into all the food in here and turn it rancid and make it no good for your fish. One of the nice things that the aquarium co-op has done with this feeder is it actually has given you two different mounting options. Now this is going to go with most of your traditional rimmed tanks and that adjusts out to just under one inch. This just barely fits onto my 75 gallon tank. So if you have a bigger tank, this may not work for you. They've also included this mounting option, which has a sticker on the back side. All you have to do is peel this paper off and you can stick it to your tank and then mount your easy feeder right onto it like that. One of the great things about this particular mount is that you can use this even with your acrylic tanks. Unfortunately, you can't get this product anymore from Aquarium Co-op because there were some problems in manufacturing they had to stop producing this product. But the good news is they're working on an easy feeder too. And hopefully we'll see that coming out soon. So stay tuned because as soon as that hits the market, I'll be making sure to review that one as well. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up for us. Help us keep our channel growing. We really appreciate that.